in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Always I wanted to see the leg of Allah, to be honest with you. It's my dream to open the TV one day and I see the leg of Allah. If you like to see the leg of Allah and you are interested, please subscribe to our channel and we are going to send a petition to Allah so he can show us his leg. Brother, when you see the leg of Allah, you will go crazy. Okay, we get it. Allah have a leg. Now Allah is going to show the Muslim his leg. Why? And Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Sorry guys, this was a commercial break for a show. It's coming soon. It's called Allah will show up his leg. Join the show. The attend for the show is really cheap. You know, you, you pay only two socks for Allah. And then you can join the show and Allah will show you his leg. Allah have hands, Allah have shin, Allah have leg. And Allah is going to do striptease. Continue. And they are called to prostrate and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers will prostrate. So you hypocrite, you will not prostrate to the leg of Allah. Look like you are not convinced with the leg of Allah. All the believers, they will prostrate. No, no, no. Allah will make their back unable to prostrate. They want to prostrate, but that's it. They cannot. Too late Among now. the 80% Sunnis, what percentage says Allah has two right hands? They are real, unlike anything in creation. And he has a shin. And he has a foot and he has at least two eyes and they are actual characteristics unlike anything in creation and then on top of that what do you do with the fact that among the salafi salaf salih you have them condemning those asharis and maturidis who believe in what i call the islamic version of communion of saints seeking the intercession of the awliya the friends of allah because they believe they're alive and they can pray for you which the salafis condemn as shirk so what consensus are you talking about buddy uh, i don't know Exactly. Do you actually believe, honestly, Allah has a shin that he's going to unveil? No. But then that means you're denying the plain reading of the Quran and the Hadith. So are you now... Wait, was that in the Quran or is that Hadith? That's in the Quran, 6842, and interpreted by Muhammad to mean that that's the day when Allah will reveal his shin. Is that real? I'm not a Muslim. I think it's a joke. What do you mean it's that real? But it's in the Quran... The day when the shin will be unveiled, and then if you sit there, what the hell is the shin? Then you're a Sunni Muslim, you go to Bukhari and says, that's the shin that Allah will unveil. Here, it's me, look at my shin. How the hell is looking at Allah's shin going to let me know that's Allah? I'll give Who you that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Hadith or is it the, is it the Quran? Quran here, buddy. A lot of snack bar. A lot of snack bar. Here it is, chapter 68, verse 42. Halali Khan, the shin. Not by my shinny shin shin. Here you go. Remember the day when the shin will be laid there, laid bare. What shin is going to be laid bare? What is this about? Do you know the meaning? No. Sal Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari. Because you're a Sunni now, right? Yeah. Bukhari, the most authentic collection of narrations, say, this is Allah shin, which he will uncover, by which Muslims, oh, that's our Lord. Can we get you the hadith? Or are you too shocked? Because you're like, uh, I don't know what I signed up for. So this is this passage that I'm seeing on screens from the Quran. Yes, 6842, Halali Khan. Other Muslims are embarrassed to translate it literally, but it is Shin. And that's how Muhammad interpreted it. If you go with the Hadith, if you want to reject the Hadith, then we're back to square one. What is this Shin that will be unveiled? Yeah, I don't know. So if I go to the Hadith, I go to Bukhari, it's Allah Shin. Do you want to see the Hadith? No, nah, I got it. So you want to follow this grotesque looking monster? As God, because if you actually go to the Arabic, the Arabic says Allah has at least three eyes. The word for eyes, ask any Arabic speaker, and I got an ark, I'm going to give it to you. He has at least three eyes, and the Hadith say he has two right hands. That looks like a grotesque, deformed monster. Two right hands? Yeah, I saw your, I saw your uh, picture. And you're laughing at your own God, because this is what you're supposed to believe as a Salafi. You know that, right? Well, I uh, don't um. So you just pick and choose. All right, well, I don't like this. I'm going to be a Sufi or I'm going to be an Ashari. And you keep going like this. It's going to be cafeteria religion. Well, I'll have that, but no thank you on this. You know, any, meeny, miny, mo. This had these days, the rest got to go. So you become your own standard again. All right, well, I can accept everything you just said, but like don't Christians have the same problem with that? What problems? Sex and different differing beliefs. Yeah, well, what does that have to do with God? We're talking about God. If you're talking about God, every... 
sect believes there's Father, Son, and Spirit. Now, how do they define Father, Son, and Spirit and how they relate to each other? Well, if you go to the scriptures and if you go to the successors of the apostles, like you mentioned Ignatius, those who were taught by the apostles, appointed by the apostles, not their opponents were the heretics that were exposing. They all will tell you, Father is not the Son, Son is not the Spirit, Spirit is not the Father, but the Son and Spirit are not created. But here I'm talking about something fundamental to the one God you believe in. Does he have body parts or no? We believe God, as God, exists before there was time, space, and place. He created time, space, and place, which means he's not a being that is embodied. Because if you have a body, that requires space. God is bodiless and spaceless. He is existence. So he doesn't need a body, doesn't have a body, and doesn't have body parts. Now, God can assume a form and appear in a shape and become man without ceasing to be God. But the Salafis are not saying that. They're saying, no, Allah always has existed with two right hands and at least two eyes and a shin and a foot. How? Because that makes him bodily. And if he's bodily, that means he has to have space because a body has to have a place to dwell. And if it's dwelling in a place, that place can't be created. Because that's the place that his body is contained therein. And if his body is uncreated, then the space is uncreated that uh, contains it. I mean, we can do this all day. So again, why did you become a Muslim? Well, like I said, it was much simpler at the at the start. It was at the start, but you see how confusing it gets later on, right? Yeah. You jumped into religion not knowing it, and you abandoned religion that you didn't know. So now, if you're uncertain whether the Trinity was affirmed historically, which it was, then why embrace Tawheed? When even among Muslims, they can't even agree on the exact nature of Tawheed. How are y'all going to have the nerve to say, you know what? My guy can't even do a proper jumping jack. You ever seen somebody with two right arms and one shin try to do a proper jumping jack? Can't happen. My man can't even do the thriller dance. My man's not going to be able to, uh, none of that. Ain't going to be able to. My man ain't going to be able to do the original Harlem shake because he got that just one uh, right there. That's all he got right there. Uh. Y'all think it's cool to say that y'all guys like that, huh? He's built like the worst character from Foster's Imaginary Friend. He's built like if you take Randall from Monsters, Inc. and just cut all of his limbs off. The nerve of y'all Muslims. The nerve. That he has eyes. That he has a face. That he has two hands. Specifically, he did not say one hand or hands. He said two hands. He specified this so that there's no ambiguity of it being a metaphor. When I say I have a hand over you, means that I have a favor over you. So I use one hand. That's it. But when I say two hands, that this cannot be a metaphor. And to the Arabs, they know that this, these are two real hands. So the hadith says that Allah Azza wa has fingers. The Quran says Allah has a shin. So when we come to all of these things, and these deviant people come and say, no, 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 no. This is not true. It's in black and white. It's, it's in Arabic. Allah is telling us. The Prophet is telling us. No, no, no. Still, this is a metaphor. Now, why would we even go down this road and talk to them? Such people don't deserve to even reply to them because they're deviant. So, stay and remain steadfast. Learn your religion. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. In both of Allah's hands are right hands. We believe that both of the hands of Allah are what? Huh? Kilta yadayhi yameen. Both of them are right. How? I don't know. Don't try. The hadith says very clearly that both his hands are right. Surah Khalam, Surah number 68, ayat number 42. The shin of Allah is mentioned. If you read Surah Rahman, Surah number 55, ayat number 27, and Surah Lail, Surah number 92, ayat number 17, 18, 19, and 20, the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned. If you read Sayyid Bukhari, the fingers of Allah are mentioned. So all these are a direct indication that Allah has got a shape. The saqi refers to Allah's shin. So he has a leg. The Quran says that Allah 
has one eye and another ayah says he has multiple eyes. Whatever Allah says, whatever the Prophet ﷺ says, we believe in it and we affirm it without thinking too deeply about, this, uh, about the actuality of this action. But the God of the Bible, he does have a spirit. The God of the Bible is a spirit. The God of Islam is a physical being. He's a shin, he's a leg. He has a physical, you know, he is not a spirit.